Now, we also have a second kind of a bill of lading. There basically are two types that, uh, that would show that the common carrier has received the merchandise. One we call a straight bill of lading. And as you see, it is a receipt that is not negotiable. The other is the opposite. It's a, we call it an order bill of lading. It's a receipt that is negotiable. So we need to know, well, what's, the, what's negotiable mean? Does that mean we're talking about haggling about the price of something? Well, that is, of course, one definition of negotiable or negotiating. Uh, I am negotiable. But in the context, context of, uh, of sales of personal property, negotiable means transferable. If I had a dollar bill and I wanted to buy a candy bar, I would negotiate, I would take that negotiable instrument, which is a dollar bill, and give that to somebody, and they'd accept that as, as payment. So we would negotiate, I would transfer the bill, they would accept that, as opposed to negotiating about the price. So a straight bill of lading is not something that you can take that piece of paper and transfer it to someone else as proof of the transfer of ownership. Whereas an order bill of lading is, it is negotiable. It is proof of title and can be used to transfer the title from one person to another. And it is covered, this, this whole topic of this order bill of lading is covered by Article 7 of the UCC, the Uniform Commercial Code. So if I have an order bill of lading, as opposed to just a straight bill of lading, I can take that bill of lading and sell it. I can get money for it, and I hand that bill of lading, that order bill of lading, to the buyer. The buyer can then present that to the common carrier, the airline, the ocean liner, the truck, you know, the railroad, and this would be their proof that they have the right to it because they've purchased it. They have a, we have an order bill of lading. Now, something very similar to an order bill of lading is what we call a warehouse receipt. Uh, think of this in terms of you're a rancher growing wheat in Kansas, and you have 10,000 bushels of wheat. You're probably, unless you have your own storage facility, you're going to take that to market at some point. So you're going to haul it to the local grain elevator. And you're going to mix your 10,000 bushels of wheat with the millions of bushels of wheat that the elevator has. And so the question is, well, how do I prove that I have this, that, that I have given them 10,000 bushels? Well, you get a warehouse receipt. It could be a non-negotiable warehouse receipt, or it could be a negotiable warehouse receipt. Now, the key difference is this. If it is a non-negotiable, that means you couldn't use it like you would a dollar to negotiate that dollar bill to somebody else. It means you can't transfer it. You could come back there and say, I'm here now, the price of wheat has gone up, uh, it's uh, February, here's my warehouse receipt that shows you're holding for me 10,000 bushels of wheat. I want those 10,000 bushels, please. Uh, I'm gonna come in here with my truck and uh, load it up until, you know, several times, several loads until I've got my 10,000 bushels. Uh, that would be a non-negotiable warehouse receipt. The negotiable warehouse receipt would be something you could transfer to someone else because it could be proof of title and can be used to transfer the title from one person to another. So if, if I decided it's February and I want to sell this wheat and the price is now a dollar a bushel more and I have a buyer in Buffalo, New York, I can present them proof that I own this 10,000 bushels by providing them with a copy of the warehouse receipt, which is a negotiable receipt. I want to be sure it's a negotiable one. So that we can trust each other that they know that that warehouse is holding 10,000 bushels of wheat, and it's a certain grade or type, they can, we, can, we can make an agreement about how much I should be paid. They give me the cash, or they deposit it in my bank. Um, when they deposit it in my bank, you know, same time, I give them, you know, this negotiable warehouse receipt. They can take that receipt to the to the elevator and demand the release of 10,000 bushels. And when they take that to the 
to the warehouse, and the warehouse says, okay, yes, we recall uh, this receipt number, and yes, there's 10,000 bushels. When that happens, uh, that they release the 10,000 bushels to the buyer of the wheat, then that, that warehouse receipt is going to be used as evidence to release the money that the bank is holding and to put it in my account.